New at 4.30 developments in a murder that's shaken a North Suburban High School. A 16-year-old is now being held on $5 million bond accused of shooting and killing his 16-year-old classmate. The tragedy happening just as the academic year is about to start at Highland Park High School. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos has more on how administrators are responding to the violence. The fatal shooting of a student this past weekend will likely be on the minds of many here at Highland Park High School as they return from summer recess. And with that shooting happening just blocks away, officials aren't taking any chances. A vigil now sits at the site where 16-year-old Omar Diaz was gunned down early Sunday morning. Police say Diaz was walking along Green Bay Road near Skokie Avenue when he was approached by another 16-year-old identified by police as Estefan Sadmanento. After a brief exchange, investigators say Sadmanento pulled out a gun and shot Diaz. Diaz later died at a nearby hospital. After reviewing surveillance footage and speaking to witnesses, including someone who was on a Snapchat call with the victim when he was shot, Investigators tracked down Sadmanento. The teen is being charged with two counts of first degree murder. He appeared in Lake County Court where bond was set for $5 million. It is a very difficult way to start the school year. In response to this tragedy, District 113 Superintendent Bruce Law notified parents this week that the district will implement a new weapons detection system ahead of schedule. It starts Wednesday. The first day of classes at Highland Park and Deerfield High Schools. In addition to that, students and faculty should also expect to see an increased police presence at the high school. When they get to school, they will uh, scan their ID uh, in order to come into the school. We did this last year. And they should also uh, expect to take their Chromebook out of their um, backpack as uh, if, if they're walking through a door that has a weapons detection system. The detectors, the superintendent says, will be at a different door each day. Safety is always our top priority. A vigil for Diaz will take place outside his home on Tuesday evening, while Saminento, he's expected back in court on August 23rd. Reporting in Highland Park, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News.